Hello guys, welcome back to the another video of Engineers Academy. So guys, Engineers Academy is a one-stop solution for all your engineering needs and you can find a lot of the engineering related video on my channel. So guys, subscribe for learning engineering. Also guys, press this bell icon so you will get an instant notification whenever we upload a new video. So guys, in our last video, we have seen about the battery type ignition system in automobile. Please click here on the top right corner to more about, learn more about this ignition system. So guys, in our today's topic, we are going to learn about the magneto ignition system in automobiles. So guys, let's begin with our today's topic. So guys, this magneto type ignition system is very much similar to, and all parts are different except of this spark plug so over here in case of magneto type ignition system the magneto is used to produce and generate the spark and generate the uh, energy and in the previous case that is the battery which is used which is uh, a source of battery like so over here guys the magneto which is nothing but the small electrical generator which is rotated by the engine and produces high voltages basically so that is the main function of the magneto so just like the same in the previous it contains the both the primary and the secondary winding so there is a no need of the ignition coil as we have seen in the previous one so guys this magneto is of two types basically the first one is the armature rotating type and the second one is the magnet rotating type so over here in the case of armature rotating type the armature is rotating and the magnets become stationary and in the magnet rotating type it becomes vice versa so guys, let's check out all the parts of this uh, magneto ignition system. This first one is the distributor. The main function of this distributor to regulate the spark in each spark plug at the correct sequence. So basically the timing is very much important in this uh, sparking uh, ignition system. So guys, this distributor uh, works for that basically. So there are two types of the distributor. The first one is the carbon brush type distributor and the second one is the gap type distributor. So basically as we can see the carbon brush is provided uh, over here in case of carbon brush type in the uh, distributor. So this carbon brush carried by the rotor arm sliding over the contact surface and the metallic segment embedded into this uh, uh, distributor cap or molded in insulating material so in the gap type the distributor there the electrode of the rotor arm pass close but does not make a contact with the distributor cap so there is a nowhere of the electrode and uh, the life of the electrode gets increases the next one next part over here which is used is the spark plug so guys as we all know about the spark plugs so this uh, spark plug consists of a uh, two electrodes uh, the a steel shell and an insulator so guys this one uh, i have depicted that the center one that is the central electrode that is connected with the supply of the ignition coil basically and it is around that there is the insulation is provided so guys there is a small ga air gap between the steel shell and the center electrode between which the spark gets generated over here so the electrode usually made a high nickel alloy this total electrode made by high nickel alloy so it can withstand with a high temperature and corrosion resistance so basically the next one uh, next part over here in this magnet ignition system is the capacitor we can also call it as a condenser so just this is same just like the the having two metallic plates over here in the capacitor which does not make a electric contact and there is insulating material over here so let's check out the working of the magnet ignition system basically so guys just like the battery ignition system the working of the magnet ignition system is also the same so first when the engine starts during the cranking the magneto rotates which generates the uh, high uh, very high voltage basically due to that cranking and the rotation of the magneto the ignition capacitor connects in parallel with the contact breaker and one end of the magneto winding is also grounded through a contact breaker. So the cam regulates the contact breaker and whenever the breaker gets open, the current flows into the condenser that is into the capacitor instead of that is the, in the uh, uh, distributor and which gets charged the condenser. So as the condenser becomes a charger, the primary current falls the magnetic field 
collapses over here. So this will induce a much higher voltage in a condenser. So as there is the much higher voltage in a condenser, the very high voltage AMM is gets generated, uh, generated and which produces the spark at the spark plug through the distributor. So guys, this is how the magneto ignition system works. So guys, let's check out the advantages and disadvantages of the magneto ignition system basically. So first of all, let's check out the advantages over here is of the magneto ignition system. So guys, this system is uh, very much more reliable at the medium and very high speed, which is it is not suitable for the low speed basically though it is suitable for the high speed. So as there is a no external battery, it becomes more reliable and there is le like a less uh, less frequently maintenance it is required. It requires very less frequently maintenance over here in this case of magnet ignition system. So guys, it has some of the disadvantages also. It has a starting problem at low cranking speed at a starting. So over here in this case, we need an external battery which will cost more. So this magneto igni ignition system is much more expensive as compared to the battery ignition systems. Hence it is used in a high uh, heavy duty uh, automotives. Also there is a possibility of the misfire due to the leakage because of the wiring carry a very high voltage. So guys, in this video, that was all about the magneto ignition system. So guys, we have seen over here the uh, parts uh, working also and uh, advantages and disadvantages also. So I hope you like our video guys. Please hit like if you have, uh, if you like this video. If you have any doubts, please do comment below. And uh, guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Engineers Academy. Also guys, please share this video to everyone. And so guys, thank you so much again for watching this video guys. Please subscribe to my educational channel.